All right. It's time for Amazing Raisin Bran Muffins. Woo woo. All right, 400 degrees on the oven to start with. As you can see, I'm in a lovely bathrobe today. Don't make fun of me. It is what it is. And look at my cute little milk jug measuring cup. I love them. They're pretty cool. So that's one cup. I don't know why I'm showing you that. Um, so these muffins were given to me. The recipe was given to me by my beautiful mother-in-law that I love. Um, and so they're, you know, healthy-ish for you, but delicious. <laughs> um, so we're starting out with half a cup of oil. You can use any kind of vegetable oil. Um, and, you know, yeah, they are made mostly of raisin bran, a little bit extra flour, sugar, stuff like that. And the key is having buttermilk, which is kind of cool. Um, I didn't realize that buttermilk has a good amount of protein in it. Yes, it does have some fat, but, you know. Um, all right, so up to the next thing is one cup of sugar. So I used organic sugar here, um, but I kind of ran out, so I added a little bit of white sugar. I know that equals equals death to some people, but just try it. <laughs> it's okay. So here we go, pouring in the sugar. And next up, we got two eggs. And I really apologize for the light changes, the lighting changes. I, uh, I'm still getting used to this filming stuff. So this is kind of, it's a nice uh, way to make muffins. You know, you just kind of mix everything in the bowl. You don't quite have to separate dry and wet stuff so much, but it just, uh, there's my buttermilk. The um, recipe, and I'll link below where the where I got it from on the blog, but it, um, it kind of just says mix in order of ingredients. So. so that's my buttermilk, which was really hard to find in the grocery store, by the way. I think that, that was the only one that I saw. Um, I would have liked to have gotten an organic one, but I couldn't find it. So we're going to use this one. And start mixing a little bit. I gotta mix up that the sugar with the oil and the wet stuff. And don't mind if you hear any construction noises going on outside my house. There's part of my uh, back panel of my house is being redone. So two times two, I think the, that's what I just did. <laughs> uh, so four cups of Raisin Bran. And I'll put the the um, exact instructions down below in the description box. And it's so fun using cereal. It's so cool to make muffins that way. And raisin bran is fairly healthy. <laughs> Alright, so here I mixed uh, whole wheat flour with one cup of that and then one cup of unbleached all-purpose flour here. So two cups total. I've, I've tried to use all whole wheat in the past, and sometimes baked goods come out a little funky, so we'll try it. We'll try it this way. Next up is my salt, one teaspoon. And good old baking soda. And I sped this up because it was kind of hard to get out of the box, so... <laughs> If it looks like I'm operating in super speed, uh, I am. And that's it. So I just start mixing, mixing, lots of mixing. It kind of comes out to a consistency, you know, kind of creamy. And I think here, uh, there was, it was a little too liquidy. As you can see, it kind of moved around in the bowl. So I just added a little bit more Raisin Bran to try to soak up all that liquid. And then I'm about to grease my muffin pan. 
So I just use, you know, full out butter, grab the stick and just kind of did a little uh, dollop in each one. And then I'm just going to take a paper towel and kind of wipe it, kind of move it around. I'm getting so excited to taste the muffins. <laughs> All right, so I don't have one of those nifty ice cream scoop things, so I just used a ladle and that worked pretty well. I just fill it, you know, almost to the top. If you want a really big giant muffin, then you can put put it all the way up to the top. As you can see, I did that to some of them by accident, but turns out good either way. So I'm still filling the muffin pan. It's almost done. And like I said, preheated oven to 400 degrees. And in we go. And I, these can cook, you know, on average about 15 minutes. I think the recipe calls for 14 to 16 minutes. Um, and I am using a convection oven here. As you can see, they're looking really good. So they cooked a little bit quicker. Let's say like 14 minutes. And, oh, this is pretty cool. You can actually save the batter for weeks because of the buttermilk. It kind of keeps it. So I just save, you know, half the batter or more than half the batter. It makes a good amount and um, put it in the fridge. So if they're eaten all by tomorrow, then you can just make another batch. And here's my gorgeous muffin. Have a good day.